Hello ladies and gents, Haley here and welcome to season one, episode four of Music History with Haley. Uh, today we're going to do things just a little bit different. I am going to take two songs for you today instead of just one and put them together in a medley. And the two songs are going to be Swallowtail Jig and Irish Washerwoman. So let's get started. So Swallowtail Jig is considered a traditional Irish tune, and it is also considered uh, a really great tune to have on hand if you are a beginning fiddler. Um, a lot of times this song is played in Celtic settings, old time settings, and Texas style fiddling settings. Um, it goes by many different names, so let me list some of these for you. We've got The Dancing Master, Dromi's Fancy, From the New Country, Swallow's Nest, Jig de Barnaby, The Heart of Me Kitty, The Custom House, Droibal Nan Fainioj, From the New World, From the Next Country. So this tune was really popular in Ireland, Great Britain, and North America. Uh, Ken Perlman in 1979 was able to date this song back to the mid-19th century, having been written in both uh, Ryan's Mammoth Collection in 1883 and also Care's Merry Melodies in Volume 2 Collection, which was also published in the 1880s. The title of the tune may actually refer to the type of coattails that were worn by dancing masters in uh, the early 19th century. Um, the tune itself was often used for Northumbrian sword dancing, which is where they have five dancers with two handled swords. Uh, this dance itself has kind of morphed into a new dance called the rapper sword dance, which is of course still used today. Irish Washerwoman is a traditional Irish jig uh, that became quite popular in the 19th and 20th centuries. Um, although it is considered an Irish tune, some scholars believe that it is actually English in origin, uh, having been known to have been played more in the British Isles in, in North America. Um, it was dated back to a tune from the 17th century called Dargison, which they feel that Irish washerwoman was actually derived from. The name Dargison is not entirely known, but darg is a Middle English word meaning day's work and darger or dargsman is also referred to as laborers so they believe that it was um, day laborers is what the title meant uh, the earliest known version of dargison was in 1609 in a book called pamelia by thomas ravencroft in london uh, that song also did appear in an altered form even earlier than that in the 16th century under the name of Oft Have I Ridden Upon My Grey Nag, and it was also found to be referenced in 16th century literature. The song was also printed in 1650-1651 in Playford's Dancing Master, and then another print was done in 1794 under yet a different name called The Melody of Sinwood in Edward Jones' Musical and Poetical Relics of the Welsh Bards. So there's not as many original recordings for Swallowtail Jig. Um, I did find some more recent recordings done by fiddlers and banjo players, mandolin play players, penny whistle players, and even a flat picking guitarist. Um, the, but it, I do know that it also is played a lot in jam sessions. Now for Irish Washerwoman, I did find an old recording done in 1958 by Leroy Anderson. And there's also a newer recording uh, with Andre Rue and John Sheehan from the Dubliners. You should definitely check it out, it's pretty cool. So there's a bit of history on Swallowtail Jig and Irish Washerwoman. Let me grab my violin and I'll play you uh, my rendition of the medley. Thank you. 
guys, there you go. Swallowtail jig into Irish washerwoman. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please be sure to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks, guys. See you next week.